We are back out on the prop today. Opening up pit number two. Got the whole crew with us. We're getting the sod off right now. And we're gonna get in it. Bigger than yesterday. Yeah, it's a bigger pit. We think. We think it's a bigger it's pit. Weird. Yeah, Ryan said it probed kind of weird. We're hoping it's a pit and not like a cistern or something, but um, well, we're gonna find out how it's done. More glass. More glass. Oh, dude, what is it? Hole. A hole? Like a void? Just like a big void? Huge void. Sweet. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, it's, as soon as you got what in the there. heck? That's an old base, dude. Is it? What is it? Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yup, old flask. All right, let's get into this. Sweet. Watch your, watch your foot. Well, we're only about a foot down and stuff's been popping out. It's a Japanese uh, body, one of those. Oh, it's a frozen uh, Charlotte, right? A little frozen Charlotte thing? Yep. <clears throat> cool. She made. What is it? As soon as I put the camera down, Ryan popped out a bottle. It's like a, it's a machine early machine-made cork top uh, perfume. perfume. Oh, it's like it's cool. It's like frosted glass. It's got some like pretty ornate decorations on it. Uh, Owens, Illinois. Yeah. And we got a nice uh, ornate design around the base. Pretty Art Deco. Oh yeah, definitely Deco. Keep that one. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. For sure. In the hole, Shane has found a nice big pharmacy. Big pharmacy or a hair? Might be a Rexel. Yeah, it's a hair bottle. Oh, it's cracked too. Unembossed, but it's old. That's fine. All right, Shane's in the hole. He's got got a buggy step, like a you know step they would use to get in the end of their horse and buggy here. God, it's huge. Jeez. Look at that. Little bands down there for Jason. Oh, jeez. It's like held in there by a. It's like wedged somehow. Look at that. I'm like pulling up the whole pit. <laughs> they just threw a whole buggy in the pit. Yeah, look, it's even got like some ornate design on it, sort of. That was a pain. Usually they say like the company name on there. I knew you were gonna pull that 50 cent piece out. <laughs> so yeah guys, uh, we've been going at this thing and we don't know really what's going on. A lot of pieces of like concrete and asphalt have come out. And if you look at the walls, the walls are like, I don't know, they're almost like concrete. We can't even really tell what the walls are. So that kind of concerned us, but you know, we're gonna dig it and find out. We probed it and it doesn't go much deeper from what we think. Um, Ryan probed another pit over there, so I guess we'll just try to finish this one up, see what the heck's going on, and then we'll open that one up. So we'll uh, get back with you guys. All right, Shane says he's got a bot down in the hole. You got a large patent med, it looks like. I'm gonna take see. that leaf off the lip. Yeah, looks like a Scott's emulsion to me. Oh, it's, uh, no, it's got like a square lip. Yeah, it's like a square lip. That was another bottle you just moved it with, by the way. Oh, what? Oh, it's old. That's good. Yeah, I mean, that's way older than anything else we pulled so What's far. What's that panel from? Another no, one of these. That's like a hair bottle thing. It's okay. pro it probably or, is. Yeah. Well, kind of a cool color to not it. Not machine, right? They're, no, it's not. No. Right. It's not. Weird. Oh no, that's a great color. Are you kidding me? I know. It's like a weird like. That's like apple green, man. It, is, it almost is. What is going on here? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's a cool piece. Like I, I wish it was embossed. Line. Look at that. A little bit earlier. Just a bunch of random stuff. We pulled a an old bike seat out. Still had the padlock on there. There's a atlas, not too old. All right, Rob's in the hole. We've been clearing it out a little bit. Still don't really know what's going on here, but he had a, looks like a crown top pop out right there. Yeah, it's like a, was it like a deco? Kai's? Yeah, it's a Jeff Kai's. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah. Crown top. Is it blown? Looks it, but. 
good second, I'll tell you. Nope, it's a machine. Yeah, no, early machine. Still cool. Yeah, it is cool. It's a local bottle. The town we're digging in, a we go. I got another one here. Yeah, yeah, yep. That's killer though. Yeah, it is a sweet color. Well, Rob's got the pot out. Pot. 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 Oh. Uh, it's one of those. Another one of those? Yeah. Man, I wish they were embossed. Sweet colors, at least. At least they're a good color. Doesn't look like there's any damage. Great color. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, I mean, those were like 1880s, maybe 90s. You got the square lip on them. Another one? The screw top. Oh, in the, in the in pot. The, in the pot. It is a Watkins. Watkins, yeah. I saw, yeah. Maybe the homeowner will like it. If none of us want it. It's actually kind of a cool one. Yeah, a little script writing on yeah. there. Doesn't look like there's any damage. Cool. Screw top, but hey, still cool. It is an older screw top. Yeah. It's not like some 50s, right. you know. It's older, I mean. Not the age we're looking for, but, you know, you just never know. I mean, there's old stuff mixed in, so we, of course, got to dig it. We got this far, and really not much more to go. Once Ryan gets back, we're going to, you know, fill this in and start our other pit over there that he probed out. <laughs> uh, well, I put the camera down, and uh, Rob popped out another bot to milk. What do we got? Oh, it's embossed. Cloverdale. Cloverdale, Will oh, we go New York. Cloverdale. Hmm. Still cool. It's still, it is so tall. Cool. Yeah. At least you're finding bottles in there. Yeah, Cloverdale was a, you know, a large, there there? large one? company. There was a Cloverdale in Binghamton. Pretty, pretty much every town probably had a Cloverdale dairy, I would imagine. Yeah, it's just a lid to a jar. Imagine if those cans were pristine. Imagine if those cans were like early Harley Davidson <laughs> motor oil cans. Oh my gosh. Skunk oil and bearing and. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. Got some scrap metal today, boys. Yeah, we're rich. Whitesman, right on the other side of town. Yeah. <laughs> Good to go. We might have lunch money here. <laughs> That's cool. That's the highest bottle. I mean, if we all want to split a small fry from McDonald's for lunch, then yeah, we got lunch money. Right down the street. Nice. Good to know. <clears throat> it's like right oh, he's got it. Ooh, what's that? You see that, Ron? <laughs> Another one of those. The oh. oh the no it's not it's Kai's yeah oh, it's a Kai okay but that's an, that's a blown one that's different. that's a blown it's not a Kai's it's not a Kai sweet no what is it what the heck is it Thomas oh Thomas and Snyder Thomas and Snyder we go New York yeah oh, that's better and it's blown yeah oh yeah sweet. I can tell that was blown from a mile away sweet dude well no, you know some of us aren't just as good as you Shane. No, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I'm just Sweet, guys. Yeah, Rob got a good bot. Nice. Is it a cap or is it just... Oh, it's either cap or it's clay bottom. It's just the bottom, right? Yeah. Well, Ryan, you see how both of the... There's like a step on each side. Yeah. Isn't that weird? That's why I said it broke weird. There's a step on that side, too. Really? Yeah, I just did it. Oh, high. so maybe it's up high though. Man oh, wait a minute. So these aren't even walls. It's just this is. Yeah, yeah. It must just be. Uh... Well, they're not steps. It's just the tops of the walls. Yeah. It's weird that the walls don't start until you know two feet down. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Of course, as soon as soon as I as soon as I stop the footage. There is a wasp right there. You got a bottle right there. You got a wasp in the wall. Oh wait, dude, that looks old. What's that? Whoa. Well, are you running? Are you? I'm running. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what's this guy? Slick. That's a. Oh man, it's old too. There you go. Man, that's older too. Chemical or something. Yeah, or something. At least the age is there. There's another one of those. See that peeler thing too down there? The juicer. What the yeah. heck? It's got like the little, uh, little stopper in it, right? Like a little like yeah, yeah. it does. It's like the same a, thing. It's full. I would it's gotta that. be like some it sort of like perfume. Well, we're done with this pit. That's all she wrote. Um, nothing really 
nothing else really popped out after you guys last saw a couple of uh, random unspeakable finds, but we're going to get her filled quick, and we're going to be on to pit number three on this lot right over there behind Ryan, or Rob. All right, we're opening up pit number three on this lot. Looks like it's going to be a pretty large pit. We got the sod set aside and opening her up. Seeing some signs of uh, ash and trash in there after you get down about a foot or so. A few shovelfuls later and uh, Rob's got a bop poking out. What, does Brian have something to do? Yeah, that's what I said. Way got labels on around it. <laughs> yeah, paper label is still on it. You got something else in your shovel? That's old, that's not a machine, man. Oh. The label's just a little too far gone. It has a castle on it, you can see. Damn, that'd be cool to see that. Oh, dude, that is cool. It does have a castle on it. Wow. Oh, uh, Wedgewood. Wedgewood, yeah. You don't think it's Wedgewood? No. no. It would be stone. Really? I don't, I don't think so. That's a blue glass. Wedgewood is usually right like, uh, not like smooth like the. Look at, look at what Rob just pulled, guys. A lot of stuff's popping out. This thing is awesome. Look at the, uh, the couple on there. Would have been really, really cool. Mike pulled out a. Where's that bottle that Mike? Oh, yeah. He's got a piece that's together. He's got a handle. It's a mug. Got a pulled out a Dr. A Hands. It was cool. a mug. Oh, I was a mug. Yeah. Wow. Dr. Hands. Um, this is like a cool, like, black glass polish. I'm pretty sure I got a bot right down in there under uh, where Mike rested his shovel. Can you move that shovel, Mike? There's a bot right there. Yeah. The blob. <laughs> dude. <laughs> it's an Elmira blob, dude. Look no at shit, it. It's nice cracked. color, but it's, it's cracked. Ah, it's cracked, dude. You gotta be kidding me right there. Beautiful color. That's like a nice like size. Is. Look at that. I that's a, think, I, I don't think that's that's a beautiful bottle. I had one like down in here. I was pretty sure I had one right down in here. It's probably cracked because it's so high up. Dude, yeah. that's a nice bottle. That sucks. It's a nice size. You don't see them that it's size. Like it's like a split beard. It's still worth. You can see where it hit right there. That's what cracked it. Got a bot down in here. So we're clearing it out. It's embossed. A and P. Brent. Oh, it's a, probably Atlantic and Pacific. It's like a little. Liam Perrins. Liam Perrins. No, it's not. It's A and P brand. Huh. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a sauce. Liam Perrins shape. It's a A and P uh, brand Worcestershire sauce. Yep. Blown too. Sweet. It's hard. it's like he doesn't have a place to grip it. With the base yeah, yeah. with the base and the neck both being uh there it is. There you got it. Okay. Yeah, it's whiskey. Nice. No Slick. one home. Damn it. Slick Rick. Laying in there a hole. It's like somewhat aqua. It's got right. It's got a real pale there. aqua, yeah. Base embossed. Is it machine? One fifth gallon. Yeah, it looks like the same bottle. It is. Oh, we got some drunkards, huh? Hopefully they really enjoyed drinking out of historical flasks back in the day. And hopefully they needed some Kilmers to cure whatever ailed them. <laughs> Alright, Mike just popped out a bot. Looks small. Ooh. Oh, it's a Caldwell's. Monticello, Illinois. Caldwell syrup Pepsi. Yeah. A little Caldwell's syrup Pepsi. Pepsin. Was there another there? I'll show the camera, yeah. You know, little Caldwells. Or Caldwells. It's got that early machine made V shaped bubble stuff going on or whatever. There's just one. I thought maybe there was two there. Guys, look what Mike just popped out. Unfortunately, we didn't get it on film, but he just popped out this uh, B R E Brink. Caroline Center, New York. Druggist. What's that? It's slick. Caroline Center's not that big. That's a now. cool one. Real, real small. That's a wicked cool here. one. Sweet. I'm getting a lot of. Oh, I just. You're hitting some glass now. Yeah, I just hit something. I got a glass right there. I got a bottle right there. Same here, mine's square. We'll get a double bot extraction, maybe. Mine's around. Chains looks nice. 
Like a soda? It's like a, no, nah, it's like one of those, it's like it's a whiskey. It's one of those whiskeys we yeah. already pulled. Where's the hand tool? Did we bring them over? Square. I'll go get them. This I don't time. have hand tools over here. Just yeah, chuck that dirt right out, Mike. Probably. Take it with your hand and chuck it out. There's a big, like, void underneath it. I got another bot right here. Whiskey. Yeah, another whiskey like what Mike pulled. Another That's one of those. Uh, SCA. Yeah, it's wicked. In SCA. the ground. <laughs> Dude, that thing is sun Super, colored to all. Yeah. Super sky. What? Must Look at the base. In, must have been in the window for a yeah, while. Yeah, they had That's that awesome. thing in their barn or something before they threw it away. Vile. I've got a little one. All right. Shane's got something in the hole. That's like a weird piece of metal there, too. Looks like a teal color. Yeah, it's teal. It's actually looks like it could be good. It's not just like a mineral water or bitter quill. Got something next to it too. Ooh, it's, it's a lady's leg. Oh, it's a lady's leg, yeah. Right, so it's one of those European things. I don't know. Yeah. The bottom's loose. Yeah. Oh, shit. You're like oh, turn mold. Someone just dug these. I think Henry Lasky just dug some of these that were like machine made even. That's older. Cool looking That's a neck. Real nice color. <laughs> look at the look at the neck on that. Yeah. Nice That's color. kinda nice. Nice color. I like that. Yeah. You think it's American? I don't know. I think it's English. It might be English, but that's real real sweet looking bottle. We got something else right next to it. There it is. Here. This is like a large square. Could be a pharmacy bottle or quite tall. Another one of those uh, things that we've dug a couple of. It's like literally square though. It's a chemical. Those rounded sides like that. Yeah, chemical machine made early though. Oh. <laughs> We got stuff coming. I mean, there's more stuff in there's here. There's bot. Little eye water from Ely's or whatever they're called from Owego. Ely's cream bomb. Yeah, it's a, oh yeah. yeah, it's an Owego bot. Like six of those things. I got another something here. They're around. Another. Two of them. For just a minute, I'll help you shovel it out. But I need. Ooh, to, I got like three bots models. showing here. Here we like. I'll help you shovel it Get out. Get that. Uh, root out of the way maybe. Yeah. that looks like one of those stupid things that one on the right. there's even like look at that there's like tons of stuff showing here look at that that's like a lid to a chamber pot or something look at that my hole magically keeps filling itself well bro yeah, i said no, i'm joking bro hold on Ooh, i got there's like so warm. i just want to reveal them all i mean I it's, like, your balls with us. it's like a cool little like thumbnail almost like look at how oh, many yeah, bottles they look like on. those uh like sun colored one like we dug. They're yeah. all the same. Yeah. I mean there's literally like five bottles showing right there. I wonder what they were because they like Can you see that on camera? Uh, do I top the top button or how do I see the see the uh, hit the front button once and I'll show you the screen. Yeah you can see them. Uh, yeah it is like that sun colored one. Oh these almost might be like alcohol or something. Whiskeys or Another one. That's a big Oh, oh it's just 16 ounces, dude. Oh, yeah. uh, dude. I when you had the embossing in the slug plate, I was like, what? Man. Drink it. Sucks. Drink it. Yeah, yeah. Not Look at that. that. That's, that looks uh, nasty. Not there. drinking that. Another one warranted. That's crude. Or is that just the water it's on open the inside? Up there. Um, yeah, it's just the water That's on the, the water inside. inside. And then I got, this lid might be intact. No, uh, no, but a huge, huge chamber pot lid. Knob. Knob on it. We went from clearing it out to digging deeper. That's seeds. Seeds. Getting seeds on Oh, we're side. in a definite pit. Yeah, we're in a pit, we know. It's, you can see the wood line. There's a couple bots here. Little slick farm. I got some stuff too. There's a bunch of pots right here. That's a screw top. I got one. Gross. Yeah. Oh, There's deep. Tons of bots right here. I mean, 
they're all kind of nothings, but like if it was a little older, I mean, you're talking a super loaded section. Good stuff here. Well, newer pits are going to be more loaded than older ones anyway. Yeah. That's true. But we're still pretty shallow, so yeah. could get a it's considerable good. age drop. I know. I'd love to see a nice age drop. There's a base of a medicine. Yeah, but if we're getting seeds right here. Medicine or extract. Yeah, that's true, Rob. Well, I mean... You can get seeds at any yeah. depth, though. Uh, it's a damaged Great Atlantic... Uh, Pacific Tea Company, uh, Jersey City. I got more bottles. And we're in them. This is like that mica stuff from like a stove or something. Almost would save it. Yeah. Huh? If it was better. Uh, drink that. There's a bot. Same thing. Another Great Atlantic. Yeah, it's got some damage to it. I got bots. Two of them. There's a large amber drink that one. Chemical. chemical or something. That's early though. Like earlier. I mean look at the droopy square lip on it. It's got one of the applied lips. We'll have to bolt hop out here soon and let Ryan and Rob get in here and pull Ooh, some what's stuff. that? That's, cool. That's a unusual shape. That's kinda I've seen them before. Uh, yeah, I've Nile seen quality. those. It's like a French bottle, I think, or something. I've seen them before. I don't remember exactly what they are. I got a kind of a nice looking bottle here. It's like one of those, uh, one of those like rectangular flasks almost. I got two bottles. Let's see if I can get it. I got another one next to it here. See these ones? Yeah. Yeah, it's like bottle after bottle after bottle right here, guys. This one's ready to come out. This one came out. It's gross as fuck. It's broken. This one's still got the stopper in it, at least. That's weird to have a glass stopper. I would not expect that to have that. Let me see it. Yeah, that's a weird one. Oh, there's quite a few bottles here. Yeah. Metal lid. Glass stopper on there. It's weird. It's a blank pharmacy there. It's loaded. Definitely loaded. Is it mine and Rob's turn? Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> I'd say so. Well, Mike unfortunately had to take off, so it's just us three now. Got Ryan and Rob down in the hole. Um, they're getting back into them. Cleared it out a little bit. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's, Ooh, in it's in boss. Riker? Yeah, Riker. It's a Riker, yeah. Hey, better than a slick. Riker, that was a New York drug, I believe. Pretty yeah, sure. Got one more. Cool with the little pestle and mortar on there, like the the R. Cool bot right there. Nothing on it. No. Yeah, we're in kind of a weird uh, time frame here. A lot of slick label only stuff, but we are getting some some embossed stuff too. Ooh, it's huge. It looks like one of those um, the Nothing fellows. Looks kind of like one of the fellows or something, or like an early milk of magnesia. The strap sides like the. Right into the... Alright, still clearing it out a little bit. Ryan's got a... He said it looks like a huge druggist bottle down in there. Oh, right there. oh yeah, it's... Uh, it's another one of those, like, hair bottles. That yeah, could be a druggist, but... That style was used for, for both. Damn. Would have been a killer if it was embossed. But, I mean, they're popping. Rob's down in the corner. You can see that wood coming out.
Amber. Ooh. Dude, if that was an embossed amber druggist. Oh. Jeez. See how the stuff's still inside of it. Something embossed. One of those. One of those, uh. Yeah, these are like the smaller amber variant of that style right there. It was used by Druggist. Also like a hair bottle too. I mean, they're both kind of a Rexall shape. I got a bottle in the corner. It looks like a pharmacy. Really? Get it. 3VS. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. One of what those is it? Caroline ones. Sweet. There's one right next to it, too. Sweet. Could Sweet, be another one, dude. Nice. Clean, too. I mean, these are coming out like real clean. This That's is another one. Cool. Wicked cool bottles. There was another bigger oh, one. Oh, big man. size. Damn it. Same one? Yeah. Same. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Damn. Yeah, look at that guy's a bigger size. Unfortunately broken. Nice looking druggist bottles. I like those. Yeah, I got more. Man's more got stuff. more stuff down in there. What? A lot of stuff. A, a lot of stuff? Of magnesia. Yeah, a ton of stuff down Do you want to try to film it yourself and pull them? Oh, oh it's an older one. Nice color. That's the older yeah. milk yeah. of magnesias. Sweet. Nice cool color. Nice really. cornflower blue, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a ton of bottles down here. Yeah, see if maybe you can get it on film up close for these guys. Real nice color on that. Look at that guy. Is it round? That was another milk. Yep. Nothing on it. Yeah. Yeah, I think they still are those milk and magnesias. I actually said that earlier when we pulled the first one. Oops. Guys, you see Ryan over there probing in that corner. So he comes over with the probe and he's like, dude, is that a seed on there? He literally probed. I don't know if you guys can see that at the top of that clump of dirt. He probed a literal seed in the sample. So yeah, we got a pit. That is wicked funny. We got another pit, and there's actually another one like right here. So we're in pit number three on this lot, and then there's four, and then five over there where he is. And, um, huh? 100% Yeah, 100%, sweet. So this has been a good lot, guys. We're not going to be able to dig these two today, um, but we're definitely going to come back before the ground freezes for sure. And um, I'm just wrapping up here in this pit. This pit wasn't too deep. Wood liner, maybe five feet deep. Um, you know, we found some stuff, but I wish it was a little better for us. But what can you do? Still had a fun time. And um, yeah, I just got to get the middle a little bit. Uh, we got all the corners. So see if anything pops out of the middle and get back with you guys. All right, that's it for pit number three on this lot. Uh, I was just showing you guys, Ryan came over and probed two more. One over here, and then one really small one over here. We were gonna save it, but this one seems to be really small. So we're gonna try to hustle and get this one done today. Almost got her filled in. It's snowing, we're snacking, back's cracking. <laughs> All right, getting pit number four opened up right now. And um, we think it's a small one, but not quite sure yet. We don't have a ton of time, so we're gonna have to get her done. Hopefully it's not too large. And hopefully it is loaded. All right, this pit seems to be pretty narrow. We already hit two of the walls. Um, just pop this out, just a piece, but nice and uh, nice and early. Could be, uh, you know, 70s wens. But, you know, we're thinking this is going to be a smaller pit, but hopefully holding some good old stuff. You can see one of the walls there, in front of Ryan there, see that clay. So it's a wood liner, 
and um, the other wall is over here, which you can kind of see on the other side of them there. So we're in one corner here, and we just need to locate the other walls and dig it out. There's a piece of wood. wood. Oh, there's a piece of the wood. That yeah. Might be bottom. That'd be a small pit. All right. Really narrow pit here. He just pulled this out. It's like a Ooh. earlier 1870s or 80s. Yeah. You can see it's like a panel of medicine. You can see the mold line right through the middle of it. Yes. He's got a bottle. Or no, it's just no, top. top. That's not what was down there, right? No. Nope. No. They got something. Rob's got something down in the bottom. It looked amber and it looked pretty large. Um, real narrow pit, as you can another, see, and not too deep. Pit. This is another one of those bowl pieces. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Early, early pottery. That bottle's right there. I know. Right there. Oh, I know where it is. I thought I knew where it was. There we are. Mm -hmm. Makes it tough to dig being this narrow. And he's on bottom, guys. So it's only a, you know, it's only like four feet deep. We think it's bottom. I mean, yeah, it could be a cap, I suppose. But there's another bottle or a piece. Was it a pit bitters? What the heck? Yeah, look at this, like red it's stained glass. It's got, it's oh, got to be like glass. flashed. It's not stained. It's it's like the ruby stain it's sort of. Flashed. Yeah, because the color, the glass itself is aqua. If you turn it to the side, it's aqua. It's aqua glass, but it's red. Um, yeah, where? It's behind you. I brought them over. It's behind you. One of them is at least. Sorry, I know this wind is probably going to make the sound quality awful. I'm trying to keep you guys down out of it. Get broken. <laughs> It is? Yep. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> what was it? Just a whiskey. But a nice, a like. Nice black glass. Three I'm piece mold. Oh, God, dude. That's Ryan's phone. Look at the bubbles in it. <sighs> Early. Good age. It's like green. Mm. Mm. Yeah, look at the lip on that. Damn. Mm. You got anything else showing down there? I feel a few things, but I have to clear it before I can. All right. Well, we'll get it cleared and... Ooh, oh. Bottle. Looks like a flared lip. Paneled. No, not flared. Looks like those 90s or 80s styles early though nice could be old yeah it looks it does nice look older than could be 80s or 70s even hmm. yeah it's got that earlier that thinner color. thinner applied lip on it there nice yeah what's the pottery piece Sounds glass. like we got Shane in the oh, hole. That's glass. It's pretty shallow, but it's got some good age, and he just pulled out with his last bucket uh, one of these historic. Well, I don't know if they historical flasks. Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, Hartford, oh, Connecticut. That's a big. What's that? That's an early piece too. That's a hearse, that's a flask, I think. Uh, Is it yeah, Pondle? Yeah, yeah, that's a Pondle. No, nope. very close. Uh, close, but it's not. But these are. What did they you said Hartford, Connecticut, and then what's yeah? The, it's like a Hartford, Connecticut eagle. Eagle on the one side. I think it's Hartford. See, there's a nice bubbles in it. Oh, it's dude, it's a blacking bottle. Oh, dude, it's a pondled blacking it bottle. Broke though. I know. Oh, it's it is pondled, baby. Dude, it was pondled. I'm like, dude. Oh. All right, thanks, bro. <laughs> this one's uh. Oh wait. Union. Is that say? Is that Union? That was it a could be a too. Union, that looks like uh, Union. Yeah, it could, yeah. Looks like a Union flash, yeah. possibly. Dude. Uh, 
Why could have this have been like the loaded pit, like the one we just dug from like 1920? Hmm. Should probably save that base anyway, just to. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. This was embossed too. Um, not sure what it was, but you can see Union. how crude that is. Is it a class pan? I don't think so. It had round embossing, it looks like, like slanted. Super early stuff. We'll big keep these piece, pieces though. Big piece of that early nice pottery. Green color. Here, let me see it. That's that early pieces there. Here's a the panel blacking. We got crude panel on that. That'd have been awesome to dig one. Never had. They come in a boss too. Really? Yep. Teen New Hampshire is a good one. They're like eight grand. Jeez. Jeez. Let one be in here. We are, we just dug a New Hampshire bottle, right? What's that? Let's see the panel. That little. This? Yeah. Still panel. Top. Oh, no, it's top. Like Nothing. We chuck this out. That's weird shape. Yeah, I saw it, but I don't see that. Thinking that's all she wrote for this half. Maybe. What's up, bud? Anything good today? Um. Well, not really. Not really. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Just go back in time and tell them to throw some better bottles in there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is actually, uh, this How you is doing, pit man? number three yeah, today. Three? We did another one over there, yeah. another one over here, and now this one's the third one. And we probed another one, but yeah. we don't have time today to do it. Here. Guys, we've been pulling some really early stuff out of this pit, and oh, it's been so sparse, but Ryan's got the top of a flask sticking uh, out. Just a medicine, I think. Actually. Or a medicine. We'll show him here. See if you could film it, maybe. Right now, I can just see your head. See if these guys can get it. Here. Huh. Right there. It's getting ready to come out. Intact, what is it? Unembossed, of course. Oh, damn. Are you serious? <sighs> the unembossed ones make it. Wicked early too. Here, take the camera. It's like late it's 60s. All over in there. Late 60s, early 70s. Your five is about up. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm just, that is super early, man. No. Why could that not have been embossed? Look at the bobs on that. How is it not embossed? Yeah. It's like they're teasing us. How are you yeah, going to show us? a good one coming. They're going to show us historical flasks. Nice. Pondled, blacking bottles. Pondled blacking bottles. And then it's like, oh yeah, here's an intact uh, nothing. Look at this stuff, man. Ah, oh, this is what you want to be digging right there. Man. Ah, oh, makes me sick. <laughs> makes me sick. There's a little roll lip something. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Roll lip. I'll uh, I'll get this corner and then you can get the other corner. Oh, boy, I don't know what that is. What? Oh man, why is that broken? What is it? It's a panelled scroll flask. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? I'll let you dig it out, Shane. You want to dig it? Or sure. It's broken, but. Damn. Well, is it Rob's turn to get in? Or whose is it? I don't even know. It's Rob's. Turn. All right, it's Rob's. Turn. It's all right. Go ahead. You don't want to dig the broken scroll plant? You guys want to want to dig it, so go ahead. I mean, I can, well, it is broken. You I, want to dig I it? I don't care about scroll plant. So. Right. How broken are we talking? Uh, like the corner's knocked out. Mm. Damn, I see it. Ryan has <clears throat> a scroll flask in the hole. But a corner is blown out, unfortunately. Damn. A scroll flats would be really cool to dig. Yeah. You're talking like a hundred to one hundred fifty dollar bot. Yeah, but I mean, you're just talking about a cool bottle, though. Yeah, definitely. It's right on bottom. It's like all there. Oh my god. Really? Why? Ah, it's annoying. 
Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm holding it down as much as I can I'll right now. I'll get the camera right down in there. Alright. Damn, guys. Why? Why? It's right. It's all there. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Here. Take that. Let me get a, maybe even a photo on my phone. You're out after this then, yeah. right? Yeah, I'll just pull it out. I don't even dig underneath it, but. Oh, why? You can see the corners knocked out right there. Yep. Might be there. Could probably glue it. Nah, I mean, there, it is there, but it's just, it's like shattered. Is it? <laughs> Iron panel, probably. More open. More open. <clears throat> Definitely panel done. Hold on. Get down in there with this. Do you see it good on the pictures? Yeah, I'm gonna take one more little. Watch the top now. Sick. Alright. Alright, I'll pull it out. There, it moved. It's a big one, too. Ugh. Ugh, beauty. You hate Ugh. Seeing it. That's better than most scrolls. Oh. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Well, I've got scrolls that don't look quite like that. That's a little different shape and it's a little heavier uh. embossing on the sides. <clears throat> Damn. Open panel? It might be smooth. Iron panel. Looks like an iron panel. Uh, maybe iron. Let me see that, you rookie. Iron panel. Show the cam. Look how far off the panel is too from the they center of the base. They barely made it on the thing. It's still cool, dude. Look at that. That's still cool. Yeah, this one's a little bit better than the. Get a photo. A few of, of the other there. ones. I can't believe the two bottles that came intact out of here were like literally the two worst ones. Literally. Out of all the bottles, the two worst ones were the ones that were intact. That's insane. It's like they knew. Fun yet disappointing small pit, unfortunately. No pieces of threadless. Yeah. True. I thought I'd get, we get, if we got another pit like this age, I think, I figured we'd They'd get They'd be in there, yeah. It's weird. Alright, Shane's just collapsing in the walls and he's got a bottle up, up high here. Literally right here, if you could see that. Space sticking out right there. You can see it's not pottled, but it could be a Kilmer sample or something, maybe. Yeah. It is. It is. <laughs> Oh, it's a Harris. Oh, uh, dude, dude sweet. I've never dug a Harris. Sweet. Awesome. It's way better than. Yeah, that. it is way better. I have one. I've never dug one. Sweet, dude. Now I can say I did dig something today. Sample bottle Harris cough remedy out of Binghamton. It's a local bottle. They're kind of tough. A lot tougher than the Kilmers for sure. And um, they kind of cop. Oh, they really copied them with that style. I mean, it looks just like a Kilmer. It's a pretty cool copycat bottle. Yeah. Sweet. I'll take it. All right. Well, that is it for pit number four on this lot. Third one today. We got another one over here that we're going to save for uh, probably sometime next week or something. But till then, we will see you next time. All right, here are some of the finds, all cleaned up from those three pits. Uh, I'll just kind of start with the first pit here. We got some of the sodas, the Kai's out of Owego, and then the little bit earlier Thomas and Snyder out of Owego, New York. 
the Kais is machine made and the Thomas and Snyder is a little earlier, um, 1910s, blown in mold. So it's cool. And we got that nice frosted glass, sort of ornate pattern, uh, Art Deco perfume. There's that little blown in mold, um, like a medicinal bottle, probably like some veterinary bottle there. And then we got a couple other random odds and ends. We got the doll head, clay pipe, and this sort of uh, probably a creamer or something similar. And pit number two. Here's that absolute heartbreaker of a blob top. Man, I wish this thing was intact. It's not one I've seen before either. Out of Amira, New York, and just a real nice color on it. It's more yellow than the camera's picking up. That's unfortunate that it had a crack in it. Here's that cool thing that Rob found with the, the couple on it. It's like a blue milk glass. And we got this nice nice polished bottle, probably a Slade's or something similar. It's a nice dark black glass, olive green color. Here's the, the pharmacies. The Riker is um, a New York City druggist. And then the, the Caroline Center here. Uh, we actually got two of these in this size. And then the one you saw that was unfortunately broken, that would have been a larger size. But that was a really cool one to find out of that pit. And here's the the really large ladies' leg uh, whiskey. I think it is probably English. I don't think it's an American bottle, but real nice color on that. Nice droopy lip as well. That's a pretty cool one to find. And pit number three, the oldest pit, um, probably the oldest pit on the whole lot, and we got some real heartbreakers out of it, as you saw in the video, I mean, just some real, real criers. Um, this was the, the Connecticut, it was actually West Willington, Connecticut, uh, by the Willington Glass Company, and I actually have one of these flasks. And this is one out of my personal collection here um, that I got in an auction lot about a year ago. It's got the nice eagle on there. Really nice bottles. And the one that I pulled out of the third pit would have actually been the smaller size. Look at the bubbles in this thing. I mean, this is just crude as it gets right here. So that would have been the smaller size, and it would have made a really nice pair to go with the the one I already had. But and then here's a this is a rolled lip piece that Ryan had pulled. Nice early rolled lip on there. Definitely an open panel bottle. And then we got this over here. This would have been a really sweet color on this would have been like a nice three-piece mold cylinder whiskey and a nice apple green color that would have been really cool this was a almost intact three-piece mold whiskey very similar uh, slightly different color than that this is sort of more olive green but that would have been a sweet one look at that nice crude lip on there late 60s early 70s or so and a couple more heartbreakers here this was a one of the flasks I think right after I pulled the Connecticut flask this one came out um, not pottled but real close to it it's got that that seam going across there and I think this would have said Union um, not quite sure if one of you guys know what this is Feel free to leave a comment if you know. But another heartbreaker for sure. And there's the open paneled olive green blacking bottle there. 
would have been a really crude, awesome example if it was intact. So, yeah, we pulled some some stuff out of that last pit that would have been great to see it intact, but what are you going to do? And here's that one at the end that I pulled. Um, it was that sample bottle Harris cough remedy out of Binghamton. And in the video, you hear me say that they copied the Kilmer. Um, I took this Kilmer bottle out to show you guys. This is the bottle that they were trying to to replicate the sample Dr. Kilmer Swamp Root Kidney Cure. And it's like literally the same exact size and style and shape bottle. So, total copycat there. But, yeah, all in all, not a bad dig. Um, we got a couple more pits on that lot that will be coming up in the next video, so be sure to check that out. And hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to drop a comment, like, and subscribe if you will. It'll help us out a lot, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.